you know those girls that were always too pretty for the assemblies? They were too pretty for you, too pretty for everybody else, too pretty even for the pretty girls at school. Sure. And they were just above it all. Mm -hmm. And if somebody would say something to them, they'd just look at you. Like if you'd go, hey, can you guys shut up? They would just look at you and they'd be like, well, you should have. You, did, you know that? <laughs> this seems personal to you, but yeah, go ahead. <laughs> it does seem like it's very specific. Not a single pretty girl. Even would say that to you? No. No. <laughs> uh, so anyway. Uh, so uh, uh, that's that's what this was, right? Okay, they were they were there, but you know, it's you've seen it in movies and mainly in comedies where they're just doing their thing, and you are irrelevant to them. Mm -hmm. That was Rashida Tlaib and Elon Omar. They were sitting in the back. They were laughing. They were uh, giggling. I mean, I want to show you the notes so I can prove what they said last are these, night. Are these contemporaneous notes? These are contemporaneous so notes. So they must count as evidence. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now I want you to know that you can't, you will not be able to read them. <laughs> Let me show you one of them. You won't be able to read them because I had to write this without really even looking between my legs on these pieces of paper, so they're barely, I can barely understand them. Because you're not allowed to you're write You're not notes. allowed. Oh, no. The, if you're on the other side, you can write because you're a member of the press. Okay. If you're down on the floor, you can text, you can record, you can laugh, you could play part cheesy. Oh. But if you're in the gallery, nothing. And they yell at you. They tried to eject me last year for making notes. <laughs> so this year I got a very small pen and a, a piece of paper from the hotel. And I just was taking notes and I was trying to hide it. So they're hard to read. But on page, on page one, this is, this is page one, okay, of mm -hmm. my notes. I wrote... They really are messy, too. Yeah, they're really horrible. Uh, Tlaib uh, and uh, Elon playing a game, question mark, laughing. Like okay. a game on their phone? Yeah, they weren't. They were, they were just like... I don't know what they were doing, but they were showing each other different things. They would, like, serve... I, they might have been like, hey, have you seen this new turban? This is a great turban, because she was wearing the... You know, the headdress. Sure, the little... sure. So I don't know what they were doing. They might have been shopping. They might have been laughing. They might have been on, you know, uh, some dating app. I have no idea. Um, <laughs> but, well, with Elon, maybe. You don't know. She might be looking to date another brother. Oh, my gosh. Did he say that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So she's, <laughs> they're, they're laughing. And, the, and I watch them the whole time. Um... Then on page five, I write, open contempt, just fun and games for Elon and Rashid. Mm -hmm. Okay. Rashida. Rashida. Mm -hmm. um, uh, page six. Let's see. Page seven. <laughs> um, Elon, first time she has looked up and paid attention, ICE officer. That's when she's talking the ice officer. Really? She looks up. That, that's how deep into this she was before she paid any attention. That's over an hour. This is Elon? Elon. Oh, okay. maybe she was just worried one was coming in. I know. So it could have been. But <laughs> that's the first time she looked up and engaged at all. But she kind of looked up like, is he still talking? And what is? And then she kind of looked up at the gallery. So she was paying attention to the ice uh, thing because she had. I mean, to, to review in case you don't know, she's had uh, many questions about uh, marrying the, her brother, about, about marrying her brother, about how she got here, about whether she was bringing others here, yeah, legally or in illegally. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of those questions, right? But it's also one of those issues that she claims to care about, right? Kay. Maybe the maybe the other things weren't hitting her interests. Okay, on page eight, I write. Why is she even here? And what I was thinking was, if you care this little, right. why did you even come? You didn't even have to come. It's not like she was, last year, she was coordinating things. Her and AOC, they were, they were really coordinating. Rashida Tlaib and Elon Omar were sitting in the back. They weren't paying any attention. No one was paying any attention to them. And I really thought, on page eight, why are you even here? Mm. Okay. 
So she was paying attention for ice. Then she went back to fun and games, ta- literally talking to each other. Oh my gosh. You know, uh, the, the kind of people like in a movie or anything, like an important speech, to turn around out. and go, yeah. can you shut up? Mm-hmm. Okay. That's the way it was. Then page nine, uh, I put walk out, Elon Rashid out. I didn't tie it to anything. All right. Couldn't tie it to anything. Well, now that you know what I observed, let me tell you how it was spun by them. Uh, and you tell me what the truth is. Democrats, Rashida Tlaib uh, and Elon Omar storm out of State of the Union address. It's all fake. We just had to walk out of that speech. The lies, the bigotry, and the shameless bragging about taking away food stamps that people depend on live. It was beneath the dignity of the office he occupies. Shame. Shame on this forever impeached president. That's what they tweeted. Now, you tell me they actually cared about the dignity of the office that they actually cared about any of this. I watched them the whole time. They were laughing and talking. They were like high school girls that were too pretty to pay attention to anything else. The rules didn't apply to them. They weren't booing. They weren't doing anything. They weren't reacting because they weren't listening. This is a show.